environmental people, it's an ex parte motion. Yeah. So essentially, it was at the blind side of the speaker and yeah. in, in parliament. Yeah. Okay. Under the circumstance, how strange is this? Or in this instance, even though this is actually lawful, but looking at all the antecedents of it, how does it raise any questions for you? Oh, a thousand and one questions, right? This particular ex parte. <laughs> yes. The, the, the route that was taken. Yes, yes. What? So as you rightly stated, right? Um, and look, even before then, I tell you, on some lawyers' pages and yesterday night, and other lawyers sent me private messages. They say, hey, with this Supreme Court decision, where are we headed for? Some are like, hey, this country is going to go up in flames. So, you know, yeah, yeah, this decision is causing a lot of havoc. Look, the thing is that, yes, as you rightly stated, under the rules of court, you can go ex party. When we say ex party, that's going on the blind side of the other parties. So let me use uh, the now common example. So let's say Evans sues uh, Apedo, right? Mm -hmm. Then, but Evans thinks that the matter he's taking to court is so urgent that if they try to find Apedo to uh, serve him, it will, they will lose so much time that by the time they find Apedo, they would have caused he would have caused much harm. So let's mm -hmm. say, let's use the typical example. Let's say Apedo has gone into Evans' land and he's building. So he's saying that, hey, if it takes even three days, the way he's building day and night yes. at breakneck speed, mm -hmm. by the time you, we get him, maybe he would have roofed it. So because of that, Evans can go ex parte before the court so that if the court assesses all the evidence and thinks, yes, this is a good case, then the court will grant him an ex parte injunction or order, mm -hmm. depending on what he wants. It's not only uh, an ex parte injunction. It can also be the state of execution that the Supreme Court granted yesterday. So the key thing we need to analyze is the urgency of the matter. How mm -hmm. urgent is it? And when we say urgent, so what is being destroyed? What harm is being caused in the interim? Mm -hmm. Yes. So when you bring that to the instant case, as far as I'm aware, Honorable, you may correct me, I understand Parliament is uh, resuming on the 22nd. Tuesday, yes. Tuesday. So it means that uh, yesterday, today, tomorrow, Monday, no business in Parliament, right? Yes. So wh where is the urgency? I, I, don't, I don't see it. Where is the urgency? So that is what we need to analyze. So, and when you read, you see, when you rush, that's it, you know, you'll not be able to articulate your views, the reasoning. I, I read the proceedings and the rule. I'm like, ah, I didn't see the urgent case being made out well. Oh, they will cause this and this and that. Just general, vague statements. So that is it. So when you rush justice, that's what you get, that you will not be able to articulate well. I read it. I didn't see the case. To be honest, I know I go to court. So I, mm -hmm. I mean, that's where I make a living. So when mm -hmm. I'm saying this, I've thought about it carefully because we can't continue. We can't continue to be very timid. No, if you continue, you see, you strengthen the arm of the oppressor if you continue to be timid. Mm -hmm. I read it. I'm like, ah, what is this? That's what I'm saying. Look, I'm here. I stand to be corrected. Maybe I don't understand it. So I'm saying that under the right circumstances, the court can grant. Well, yeah, you want to read what yes. you say. So yes. I have a copy of the of the this particular proceedings, a cert certified true copy of this d orders and the d decision by the Supreme Court five justices yesterday. Justice Getu Tokono presided over this. Dasowusu Siedu Gau and Dakwa Sari, all justices of the Supreme Court. And if you look at the the third page and the reasons why they give this ex parte motion even a hearing in the first place, and you you question the the urgency. Yes, of I it. don't see. So it. we refer to paragraph eight mm -hmm. and the enumeration of six grounds. Mm -hmm. Ex parte because of the likely mischief being a halt to the business of parliament, especially committees chaired by the current majority members. Mm -hmm. B likelihood of the current minority members doing everything in their power to halt business of government in these dying minutes of the period to 2024 elections. C, a delay of government appropriation which could require the approval of parliament. Mm -hmm. D, the ruling amounts to a denial of the constitutional right of these four constituencies to be lawfully represented in mm -hmm. parliament. E, 
Exhibit B, the ruling on, on page three, in doing so, clearly the Speaker of Parliament was yeah. usurping the original like, and exclusive jurisdiction of this honorable court, and he himself recognized it. These were the... Yeah. Good. So, yes. So, you see, now, the thing is that, as I stated, you say the mischief, mm -hmm. being, mischief being a halt to the business of Parliament, especially committees chaired by the current... Uh, majority members, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So that's why I said the business is going to start on what? Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So what I expected the Supreme Court to do was that the Supreme Court said, no, we are not granting this. Go and serve the Speaker. So you say, look, we give up to make further attempts to serve on Saturday. Mm -hmm. If the Speaker is evading service, that is dodging them, then Sunday you may go ahead and publish it in the mass media, electronic and mm -hmm. other print, social media. So others, or even you could even say, no, go and attempt. We'll sit Saturday evening, 8 mm -hmm. p.m. And there's paper number four here. The Supreme Court said, listen, the law is that the court will sit any day and time. Mm -hmm. If you read paper number four, there's attorney general number four, right? Mm -hmm. 2017, 2020, one Supreme Court of Ghana law report. That's the 48-hour decision. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there was an earlier decision, Bernard Mona, uh, decision, okay? Mm -hmm. There's attorney general where the Supreme Court has said, yes, they couldn't sit on a public holiday, blah, yes. blah, blah, because of the Public Holidays Act, right? Mm -hmm. But in table number four, they struck it down and said, look, the courts, the, the executive cannot dictate to the courts when they will sit. So mm -hmm. any time and day, all right, I'm sure that's not the major point. I mean, if you want to read it, you can always uh, they say, get Indeed. it, right? So with that, I expected that the orders would not have been made there and then. No. You would have said, listen, it's, Thursday, it's, it's Friday. We are giving you the rest of this Friday afternoon up to the close, let's say, by 8 p.m. on Saturday mm -hmm. to find speaker. If speaker is evading service, you know his residence, etc. If he's evading service, come Saturday evening, the court will sit and now make orders for publication in the mass media. Mm -hmm. Or if the court didn't want to sit on Saturday evening, they would just say, okay, look, we'll make the further orders. If you don't succeed Saturday after 8 p.m., the second step is that serve the speaker through the mass media, etc. Then, so speaker has up to Sunday to respond. Then on Monday, the court would sit. So why this indecent rush? I mean, I find it I'm like, Jesus Christ, are we sure? Yeah, you find very senior lawyers who say, hey, where is the Supreme Court taking us to? So you see, with the way the Supreme Court is gone about this, they are giving people the opportunity to say things that we've always shied away from saying, that it is a political organization. Yes, we all know. When uh, there were vacancies in the Supreme Court, did you see the uh, Kufado seeking to appoint people who are uh, affiliated to NDC or who, people who have sympathies, to, uh, sympathies for NDC? No, they will choose people that they think are sympathetic to their cause. You see, the moment you do this, the things that we usually will shy away from doing, we would say, that is a political entity. It's not by merit per se. It's more about the affiliation. After all, mm -hmm. you don't write an exam to go into the Supreme Court. After you pass your bar exams, you start practicing 15 years at the bar. You qualify. So every mm -hmm. lawyer, of course, provided you don't have issues of moral turpitude, those disqualifications. Mm -hmm. But it's about at least a lawyer of at least 15 years standing so, at, at the bar qualifies. You don't have to have been a judge before. You don't, you don't have to, right? And all that. You remember uh, Professor Datiba, Modi Bokran, and the rest. They were appointed straight from the uh, this, uh, private sector and came onto the Supreme Court. Father. So that's not our law. Mm. So you don't have to be a judge before. So you see, because now with this, then you see that people are getting angry. What is this? What is this? No. The court hasn't done. The haste was too much. So in the process, then you see you are eroding the confidence that people have in the court. Because it's as if speaker is gone to space or mass. No. Mm. The people number four says, look, you will sit any day and time you want. That's what your own decision. That's Yas and Tua's uh, validatory judgment mm -hmm. when she was leave, leaving. So for Kufu, this was her last judgment. Mm -hmm. He said, no, executive can't tell them where they will sit. Public holiday, uh, workers on strike. Saturday, Sunday, they will sit. It's mm -hmm. an essential service. So they're saying that uh, justice, okay, the justice system provides an essential service, okay? Mm -hmm. So they are not bound by these holidays and Saturdays and Sundays. So yeah. I expected the Supreme Court to have hastened slowly, mm -hmm. give speaker an opportunity. Then to make matters worse, 
you see that even the uh, lawyers, when you read through, the lawyer mm. said, I want the order for 10 days. Yes. Okay? That's mm. usually the practice Indeed. for injunctions. When you go ex party, they usually make it short. Yes. So that you use that period to find the person. So they were talking about Evans and then Apedo, right? Yes. So Evans will now look for the bay leaf, and then within 10 days, they will try to, uh, you know, serve uh, uh, this and Apedo to respond, etc. But you see, the lawyer said, I want it for 10 days. The court said, no, it's not 10 days, unlimited. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, because I'm it's looking bad. at it, but the, the order under which they, they even applied, uh, mm -hmm. and, and, and per, per the high mm -hmm. court's civil procedures, mm -hmm. Yeah. The rules that, yes. that apply this. It's yes. supposed to be 10 days. Yes. But then in the court order yes. until right. the determination of the case. Yes. That's unlimited. Yes. So is, look, is that regular? No, it's not. So you see, let's distinguish this. Theoretically, you can say, yes, nothing stops them. But practically, we use, so the ones that they are referring to, that's the application for injunctions, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So you find it in the CI 47. When it's ex party, usually it's for 10 days, okay, 10 days. Mm -hmm. And then you go and find the other person, the person you get the injunction, the order against, then you serve him. Because so within the 10 days, he stopped from doing what he's doing. Mm -hmm. And then he has opportunity once he's served to also, uh, this, so within the 10 days, then you reserve him. You, you call what, uh, there's the one we call, you make it on notice. So it means that you serve him with a new application. So it means that there are two applications. One, you come before the court alone. That's the ex party. Mm -hmm. And then you show the agency something is being spoiled. Something is being spoiled. Something is being destroyed. If we don't stop it quickly, by the time we, we say we are going to find him to serve him, he would have destroyed it. You can't put it together again. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, destroyed beyond redemption. That's a key thing. That's why I said, so for me, between now and Tuesday, what was going to be spoiled beyond redemption? Mm -hmm. I don't see it. That's why I'm here. People, viewers, and listeners can show. What's the spot beyond redemption by Tuesday? Uh -huh, that I test. Mean, especially mm -hmm. that we are also in the weekend. Exactly. That yeah. test. Where, where is it? Uh -huh. So it's when you come and you get that order. So you are going to serve them. But you know that by 10 days time, if you don't apply for a fresh one, the person can continue doing what he's doing. Mm -hmm. So when you get the order for the 10 days, you serve him. Then within the 10 days, you prepare a new application. And then go and serve him again. So that one, they will give a further date. And then he will come to court to respond. Mm -hmm. So that's how it's done. You see it. So, like, you heard Ansar Sari. <laughs> you heard how he was uh, very, fact, very upset with it. You heard the comment. Are you going to play he's it? Gonna be, played he's going to be joining us. Yes. He'll it's, be joining us. Uh, yes. Uh, with respect, the yes. Supreme Court hasn't done well. As I said, for me, the fear is that now with this, we've allowed lay people, you see, usually we're shy about certain things, but now people are jumping. And you know, it didn't start today. Mm -hmm. It started some years ago when they started saying, hey, unanimous seven, unanimous FC. You remember? Mm -hmm. Unanimous FC. You see, when it came to the election petition, those things. So the citizenry started standing up. Of course, it's expected. You see, a youth in one case, who are you, a you So I remember the day we won the Domlevo case. Um, you know, the one in Kufadu and his people were looting, and Domlevo sought to, uh, or Safumaf were go, right? Then Domlevo sought to catch them, then they sacked him so that they could do that. You know, that's even one decision that the court sat on it. Ah, you see, they didn't treat it very urgently like this. Meanwhile, there was a risk of looting. But that mm -hmm. one, no, the court was very slow. Of course, at a point, we lawyers also got tired, so we're also contributing to the slowness. But you see, when the court wants to be very fast, it will be fast. Uh -huh. But the point I'm making is that on that day, Justice Luce told us, and that was also the day uh, Oliver, Samson, Ladi, Ayenini, mm -hmm. Doc, and then Professor Edison, uh, 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 Edison. Uh, APJ Etuya, mm -hmm. University of Ghana, they won the case of the imposition, the COVID law that was said to be unconstitutional. So Justice Doche said, uh huh, Pebu, uh, you and the rest, hey, today when you go, you will not call us unanimous seven. Today, mm -hmm. the uh, public or the masses have won two cases against the government. Mm -hmm. That's the Domlevo case and then, and then the imposition, COVID the COVID law. So the point I'm making is that so the Supreme Court itself is aware that they've acquired that name, unanimous seven. And it's not complimentary. People were not happy. So you see that knowing that, hey, now people are getting up, and so you're beginning to erode their confidence in the justice system. 
I would have thought that they would have gone slowly. You see, you can come to the same decision, but it's how you go about it. Mm -hmm. Let the other side come. Because, look, the key thing we should ask ourselves is that between yesterday afternoon and Monday, uh, that's the last day they could have sat on this matter. Mm -hmm. What was going to be irretrievably spoiled was the irreparable harm. You can't just write in one sentence, we appreciate the agency. Hey, is that so? Look at the sentence. Yes, that's the order. Uh, um, that, uh, <laughs> we appreciate the agency and special circumstances presented to support the filing of this application. The agency and special circumstances lie in the effect of the impugned ruling, which include, then they uh, go on, depriving the four consequences yes. that the said MPs presently represent, namely, blah, blah, blah. The said four consequences, yeah, so let's go to the substance, mm -hmm. have the right of representation in parliament mm -hmm. until the next parliament, sorry, until the next parliament by the said ruling. Let's go over. It says the, the said four consequences in Ashanti, okay. blah, 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 have been deprived of their basic democratic and constitutional right of representation in parliament until the next parliament by the said ruling. So between Friday and Tuesday, Tuesday what is it? I mean, that's a key thing we should be asking. Because in law, yeah, yes, they can give the orders. But you give the orders when the facts, you know, entitle you, when the facts speak for themselves. So what is it that will be lost between Friday and Monday? When the, even the Tuesday, we know the time Parliament sits. Even if you say there's going to be a Supreme Court decision, so you ask Parliament to add, uh, this and not start at the right, uh, the, uh, uh, sit in the morning by sitting there, they will do so. You remember um, at a point in time, uh, I think after the 2020 elections, because mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the uh, MPs are ministers, Parliament mm -hmm. saw that if they start sitting at 9 a.m., so many ministers cannot attend Parliament, right? Yeah. And so they, they said people will not be represented. So they had to agree that they will sit in the afternoon so the minister can go to office, work in the morning and come. So what I mean is that all these things can be negotiated. So I, I don't see. see the agency with due respect. And you see the surprising the speed as well as some lawyers have... That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so that's the agency, as I said, that speed. You file it yesterday. Yesterday, and then within that short time, it's been arranged. Meanwhile, there are cases. People are in custody. That's even more precious. People's mm -hmm. personal liberties. They've been in custody for years. The appeals have not been heard. Criminal appeals. That's not urgent. I told you that this country, eh, we don't appreciate personal liberties at all. And yet this one just came. Within hours, then the, the, the court has gone in. Mm. Okay. Well, so for, what was the irreparable damage, really, that between Friday and Tuesday, that parliament would reconvene after going uh taking that break reason why you i mean your leadership went on this path of having the supreme court stay the speaker's ruling on these four seats until the final determination of the case well, um, Alfred, let me say a very good morning to you once again and to your cherished viewers. Um, I am very much surprised about the commentary from um, my senior colleague, uh, Pebu. Clearly, he has not been following the matters in court because if he has been following keenly um, the matters in court, um, some of these comments um, would clearly, in his estimation, would be unwarranted. Um, why do I say so? Um, on the day that the Speaker of Parliament was given the ruling, he gave an account as to why he has refused service. This confirms why it is not necessarily about what happens from now till Tuesday. The Speaker of Parliament because of the anticipation that the majority caucus in parliament, led by Honorable Fenio Markin, because of that anticipation, had already attempted a number of service on the Speaker of Parliament. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the Speaker of Parliament in his ruling agreed that indeed there has been an attempted service on him. 
But he explained and why, is it not? I'm sure hold, we, we, we all, we hold all on, did I'm listen to him. Hold on, I'm coming, I'm building a point. Alfred, hold on for me. But because, in his estimation, and according to him, a conclave that he had with the Chief Justice, service on members of Parliament and the Speaker of Parliament, by virtue of our privileges and immunities, cannot be served on any other day apart from Monday. Apart from Monday. Emphasis mine. Apart from Monday. And for that matter, the Speaker of Parliament had refused service. Now, my point is, when it comes to service, the CI 47 that regulates service of a process, according to other seven, when it comes to personal service, you need to direct the personal service but if the person frustrates the service, you put it as near as possible to the person, which was done at the legal department. Now, the question is, what is the CI-47? The CI-47 is a subsidiary legislation, and it was put together by a rules of court committee as per Article 157 of the 1992 Constitution. Now, if you have your Constitution, you may turn to Article 157 of the 1992 Constitution. I am trying to bring to your notice how the Speaker of Parliament unilaterally amended the 157 of the 1992 Constitution without recourse to the procedure in amending a subsidiary legislation as per the 1992 Constitution. Now, the 1992 Constitution that is Article 157, talks about the fact that there shall be a rules of committee which shall consist of the Chief Justice who shall be the Chairman. Six other members of the Judicial Council, other than, other than the Chief Justice, mm -hmm. nominated by the Judicial Council, and two lawyers. So if you come to the 1572, it talks about the fact that the rules of committee shall, by a constitutional instrument, shall, by a constitutional instrument, make rules and regulations for regulating the practice and procedure of all courts in Ghana. So it is the sole responsibility of the rules of court committee to put together the CI-47, which is already in existence, that regulates the procedure in court. And in that CI-47, order 7 regulates how service will have to be done. Nowhere in the CI-47 can be seen that members of parliament will have to be served only on Mondays. It does not lie in the mouth of the Speaker of Parliament alone to say that there was a supposed conflict between himself and the Chief Justice, and for that matter, members of parliament and the Speaker of Parliament can only be served only on Mondays. It does not lie in his mouth. Now, if you come so, to... So, so, so can I ask you that question? No, no, no. So you, you made a let, point. Let, uh, let no, me just so, add this one. No, so that you don't... No, no, it, it, it's okay. You, I would have you proceed. But because you made a point about the speaker refusing service, when he was delivering his ruling, I recall that Alexander Penyomakin made reference to what you are talking about, that he tried serving him and the speaker's team the legal department of parliament then indicated that the speaker had given express instructions that he should be consulted before any suit or service is accepted by the legal team that's correct is the is not? that's not more you that, that the, is the, illegal so the so speaker it, of he, parliament alone cannot seek to amend article 11 7 and that, that is what that, I was that, going that, to point I, I, to. That's, that's, what, that's, that's what, what I was. I was just leading to a question. That, that, it, that it was not. That, it was not. It was not the speaker. He indicated that this was after the conclave, as you have made reference to, with the chief justice. And I'm saying that. And so it is not the sole decision uh, of the speaker. Please, please, don't do that. Don't do that. Lawyer Pegu is there. He's a lawyer. He knows articles, Article 11. Uh, but did the chief justice so agree or not? Oh, hold on. No, no I, I'm just hold saying on. that if you say so the speaker alone, that's what I wanted to let you know. <laughs> that the speaker was, and I that know you were okay. in parliament. That is okay. But I'm just saying that that was his allegation. Listen, that was his allegation. Uh -huh. That was speaker of parliament's allegation. That there was a conflict between him and the chief justice. But if you read the judgment, from the Supreme Court, 
as far as the ex party um, application was concerned, the Chief Justice and the other four members indicated in the um, ruling that they have taken notice of the Speaker of Parliament's allegation that members of Parliament will have to be served on Mondays. But I just read the Rules of Court Committee as per Article 157 to you that it does not lie within the mouth of the Speaker of Parliament, neither the Chief Justice or a supposed conclave between the two to amend the CR 47, which is the subsidiary legislation. So if you come to Article 11, the substitute of law, that talks about the sequence of importance as far as our laws of this country is concerned. The Constitution, which is the supreme law of the land, followed by the Act of Parliament and subsidiary legislation and what have you. The 11th 7 talks about how a subsidiary, a subsidiary legislation like the CR 47 can be amended. Now, 11.7 talks about the fact that any other rule or regulation, this is Article 11.7, any other rule or regulation made by a person or authority under a power conferred by this constitution or any other law shall be laid before parliament. This is the procedure in amending the CR 47. The Speaker of Parliament could not have usurped any power or a certain conclave between himself and the Chief Justice per his own allegation to have amended service, that is order 7 of the Constitution, and say that members of Parliament shall only be served on Mondays. It does not lie in his mouth. And that is why the agency, as we took to court yesterday, lies. Because the agency is that we cannot even serve him on Friday. Mr. Kogu, we could not have even served on Friday because the Speaker of Parliament has made it clear that no, the Speaker of Parliament... When you don't, don't find him, you go us. to court for an order. So mm -hmm. when you don't find the person, you file what we call application for substance service. What are you talking about? Ah, please, I said, please, ah, please, please. Look, ah, you see? Say, I, I am saying that. Listen, you, listen, I am saying you, that. Ah, but I said, for me, I taught you, you law. You are not going to reteach me. Oh, no, no. I am talking about the court. You, you are my student. Well, you are not going to yes. reteach me. Oh, hey. well, I probably, if I was that bad, I'm not sure you'd have passed. You are not telling me that I don't understand. I am not saying you are huh? that bad. Hey, of course, I recognize the fact that you haven't to taught you. Now you're saying that I'm listening. I am proud of that. I am proud of that. But my point is that I did not say you do not know the law. I said that you did not follow the I sequence followed. in parliament. Listen, I said, well, let me tell you. Because what? if you had followed the sequence in parliament, you would have known that if it's a student service, in this particular instance, uh -huh. wouldn't have helped the course of the majority. Uh -huh. So what did I say? So I said the court could have made an order that go find the, so give the order straight away, even without an application. That's what I said. So I said between Friday and Saturday, go find speaker. If he doesn't respond, either the court will sit Saturday evening or the court could have made an order that uh, Saturday after 8 p.m. If you, that, you don't get him, then blast it in the mass media. Mr. That's Pebu, what I was saying. The court can make those me. orders. Mr. Kwebu, you are not listening to so, me. No, I so, made the point that ah, what, 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 what does that mean? No, no, it's no, not no, about no, order no, 7. Listen, no, no, hold on, no, okay, hold on. Okay. Please hold on. So, so what, what is your issue? What's your point, really? Service has already been done. No, because no, no. What no, was before the court? No, I said, wait, wait. wait. What was before oh, no. the court okay. is the okay. ex party application. Yes. I said, yes. did yes. anybody yes. try yes. to yes. send yes. the speaker yes. with yes. the ex party application? No, no, no. 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 So, so ah. the reason why the service does not even come in is that. Oh. Has a service been done in this particular ex party No, no, hold on. I just want to. What I've said is all true. Gentlemen, hold on. Hold on. Vincent, that's a fact. Listen, listen to mm -hmm. me, Alfred. Substituted service does not even come in because, hey. in our estimation, service has already been done because of the service says Did you serve on the application? Well, hold on. Hey. Oh, please listen hold to hold me. Can, can you listen hold to me? I'm saying that. Service of what? The person prostrate service of what? Wait, wait, wait. As wait. near as possible to him. The Speaker of Parliament in his ruling indicated and 
and Antonio <laughs> Marke on the floor of parliament said that no, yeah, the process was thrown at the legal department. Please, you do hear that or you do not hear that. Is that not service? If it is thrown at the person, that is service. So, if it's that the service, that's not even coming here. But okay. I am pointing to you that the conduct of the Speaker of Parliament and the legal department allowed us to protect the sanctity of Parliament, to protect the sanctity, and if you like, the representation of the four constituencies by going as party to the Supreme Court to make sure that we stay execution so that the status quo ante will be uh, no, restored but, for us. And so okay. it is not it is not wrong. Okay, for us so, to go on expert so, uh, this I said for the, the question is you talk about service being done. In that particular instance that you reference what Afenyo Makin himself resisted vehemently when the speaker said he threw it, he said he did not do that. And that is a matter of his integrity. If you were not in Parliament, maybe you missed that point. Please, but I did not miss that. But I'm saying that the okay, Speaker of Parliament no, no, himself but, was but, not at the legal department. Okay, but if you say... It is an account if you say, of if what you he say, has been told. And Asuna Markin made it clear to him that but, he may have been told things that are not right. So, But he refused and refuted the fact that he did not go in there to throw it. And you are saying that this morning, that throwing a, serv the, a suit... Or this particular it was left. It, it was, was it, left it amounts to service in that as form. Possible, as near as possible, as near as possible. That is the where, dictate where, of CF on seven, other seven. And and as near as possible, where exactly did he serve the speaker? At the legal department. At the legal department. And did the legal department? Because the speaker of parliament the, himself no, have said that he, you, you no, cannot no, serve him personally, but take it to the legal department. Good. Did the legal department receive that particular service? That is why I'm saying that. There has been frustration on the no, part no, no. of the legal department. So was there was, was there service or not? Because you said yes, because it was left as near as possible has been to done. them. Yes, no. it was left as You near are as saying that the legal department did not receive the service, and now you are saying, saying service has been done. So how do I reconcile the two? Yes, because the law says that if the person refuses service, leave it as near as possible to the person, and, and did, that is service. Did they leave it at the legal department? I'm suggesting to you that that was that. Okay, so no. well, and, 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 and what, what was it? And I just want to make a point. And because the speaker was clear in his ruling that he had directed the legal department not to accept any service until he is consulted. Wait, until he is consulted. But how, is how, the how, 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 how? So the I'm speaker coming. of parliament so does not you, have the law in his bosom to decide. But when he, is, he, is, he, 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 he is the leader of parliament. So, if so, is the trample upon the no. constitution? Mr. Kaiser, let's come mm. in briefly. Yeah. Let's say, uh, uh, as if we are, are you aware yeah. that what uh, Afinio Martin sought to serve the first time is different from what was uh, 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 filed yesterday? This one that the Supreme Court sat on yesterday, it was filed the same yesterday. It was filed the same yesterday, probably even uh, afternoon. It wasn't 9 a.m., not 10 a.m. Yes, what they dealt with yesterday was filed yesterday and within hours, the Supreme Court sat. So my point is that that is the one, because it's different in nature from the first one they sought to serve, the court should have given an opportunity. Ah, what was dealt with yesterday was filed yesterday. That is what I'm telling you. Beyond 10 o'clock, it was probably in the afternoon mm -hmm. from the uh, estimation. And we can get the exact time, but it wasn't 9 a.m., wasn't 10 a.m. Okay. It wasn't 9 a.m. It wasn't 10 a.m. It was filed the same yesterday. Who yeah. attempted to Mr. serve Martin that on the speaker? Mr. Martin, yes. Yes. my lecturer okay. that I am so much pleased. Yes. I'm saying that uh -huh. yesterday was a Friday. Yes. And so the speaker of parliament has already indicated that oh. if it is not Monday, I'm not taking any service. Oh, please, 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 please. I why do you don't do that? Okay. Okay. I said, well, you haven't no. practiced much. If, if, That's if, why you're if doing If I am this. your client, no, Mr. No, 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 Martin, no, no, will you advise me? Don't do that. that you are not the court. Who has already said that I won't receive service on Friday? Let's you still go and serve me. You when haven't. You can use other means to block uh -huh. the Look, ruling. Let me tell you, the way no. it goes is that once no, so. what was attempted to be said, mm -hmm. that ap earlier application, we were looking for an injunction okay. earlier on, right? And then they couldn't serve, they couldn't get the court, etc. It's different from the application that was filed yesterday. 
probably close to noon mm -hmm. and this then within the, this, hours this expert emotion yes this expert one is different from the first one okay. so the first one what we do is that you apply there's a mother case let me call it a mother a mother gives birth right so there is a case that you've taken to the supreme court then on the back of it you mount an application either for injunction or whatever so there are two so that's why they try to say first and from what the speaker is even saying it means that he says the chief justice agreed he says he's giving a directive, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. You, for now, let's leave that for Mr. Speaker and, and, and Chief Justice. And, and Mr. No, Martin, no, no. So, my so, so. that I'm well pleased. You think that the Speaker of Parliament can do so and you serve the powers, if you like, you serve provisions in the Constitution and provisions of subsidiary legislation? Ah, what I say, if it's agreed on the practice directions, you think everything that is and in the, the practice, practice directions, directions according to so, Article so. 11, Please, ah, please, oh, please. Emancipate. that's not the occasion for this. Please, gentlemen, no, please, so, 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 so if the chief justice agreed, you as if you do you know what went into rate? If you know what went into rate, so gentlemen, if the chief justice agreed, do you know what went into rate? That's why I said we'll leave that. And Otherwise, exactly. we'll obfuscate matters. We'll that confuse. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Mr. Martin, the justices are not bigger than the provisions in our constitution. It doesn't matter what they was agreed in the conclave. The constitution is supreme. Article one tells you the constitution. So you don't know that if you agree something with somebody and you want to change. Ketsu at least would demand that you put him on notice that I'm no longer going by this agreement. What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? Are you saying? Okay. Ah, so, so you can agree something with somebody, then you go behind the person and do something different. I, I, I hear that. I, I hear. I hear. Lawyer Sofwa. Lawyer Sofwa. I hear you continuously. Lawyer Sofwa. I hear you continuously refer to this conclave that was agreed per the speaker's declaration as an alleged conclave are you saying that you know that this conclave or this agreement may not have been had between the speaker and the chief justice on the period of so. service i am only saying that that conclave cannot surmount the provisions of the constitution please that is what i'm saying and lawyer martin people cannot deny knowledge of this but it's How about the procedure so if you agree with somebody and then later you think that thing is wrong, you just go ahead, no. rough shot. Okay. Won't you it's put the person on notice that look, listen, I'm resiling from it. So that's why I said the court could have given another opportunity. So they would then in the have already indicated to hey. you that when you come by way of notice, hmm. I am not taking your service because it is not a mandate. This well, is what I 